Hello everyone. Yeah, today we are going to discuss about a face detection and tracking system using OpenCV Python on a Jetson hardware with the support of a Arduino uh, camera actuator system. So what is a face tracking system? It's basically a server assisted camera setup in which uh, the system tried to find the presence of human face in the scene and try to adjust the camera angle so that the camera always point to the human face even if the person is moving in the scene like you can see here let's see the hardware record for this project and the hardware connection details here the master processing unit uh, is a Jetson Nano B01 development board and uh, we have two Raspberry Pi V2 camera modules to achieve stereo vision. Then we have two uh, servo assisted panel camera holder and an Arduino board together we call it as a stereo camera actuator. This actuator is responsible for the camera angle change or the camera movement. The cameras are mounted on the camera holder. That's the reason why I put a dotted connection between the camera and the holder. Now let's discuss that uh, interfaces. So uh, Raspberry Pi V2 cameras are connected to Jetson Nano via CSI channels and uh, Jetson Nano and Arduino is connected via a USB cable to achieve serial communication and the servo motors are connected to the PWM pins of the Arduino board. I hope it's clear now. Now let's divide our main project into two sections. First one is software section and the second one is stereo camera actuator. The software section is completely written in Python and uh, the main role of software section is capture images from two cameras and detect and uh, locate the faces in the image using OpenCV library and then calculate the deviation of face position from the center of this image and then derive a command and then send this uh, command to Arduino board via serial port to change the camera angle to bring the faces at the center of the frame. The second, uh, stereo camera actuator. So the main role of stereo camera actuator is to read the command received over the serial port which is sent by the software section and then decode the command received and then try four servo motors to the requested angle so to reposition the camera angle. The next step would be uh, assembling all our hardware for the project. So let's watch our hardware assembling process in a short video. And at the end, you can see the prototype which we created. Okay, now let's build our stereo camera actuator. For that, first uh, create a project folder to work with and then uh, clone our stereo camera actual repository to your project folder. So if it is done, you need to open this in Arduino ID. Basically it's an Arduino um, code. So yep. Now you connect your Arduino board to your laptop and also select the Arduino you know, board and the corresponding COM port from the list. Now upload it. So now the uploading is finished. Now open uh, maybe the serial monitor so that you can see the system go for an initialization. And then at the end of this initialization, you can see a SCA ready message over the serial monitor window. Now we have a working stereo camera actuator. Next, uh, we will be preparing our software section for the project. Before that, power up your Jetson Nano and log into that machine. Once you log in, then let's clone our face detection and tracking GitHub repository to our um, project folder. So once you download the code, then open this code in uh, VS Code for editing if it is needed. 
and at the same time you can connect our uh, SEM module to your uh, Jetson Nano board using your USB cable and then install pi serial using pip command pip install pi serial this module is required to communicate uh, with your Arduino, Arduino board from Jetson Nano now open the main python code face tracker.py in the editor for running now you are going to run the code so that it will start communicating with your SCA module and you can see SCA is getting initialized after successful SCA initialization you can see two windows popping up they are the left and right camera outputs also you can see detected face in them within a blue box now our camera is trying to track the face in the scene you can see that the camera tracking properly even though the person is moving in the scene so finally we have a pretty decent output here yep that's all for today thank you